Um, I got this question from the founder of a dating app who's a fan of yours, uh, specifically okay. for, for you. Uh, did your techniques to engage conversations with women change since the 1990s in light of social networks, dating apps, and the Me Too movement? If so, how and what do you do different? I've had women in my life and I've been changed by them. I have had a mother, a sister, a daughter, etc. So I've been influenced by the women in my life. If there was anything um, upsetting that I teach, I'd have heard about it from them, you know? And they have course corrected me once in a while, like calling girls targets right? Top Gun metaphor. Uh, so we fixed, you know, they're now called women of interest. We've fixed our, our wording, but we're still teaching relatively the same idea. And that is to be a man, hold your own. Don't buckle uh, at the first sign of disinterest. You know, she starts turning away. I like to turn away as well. If, if a girl starts turning away, I'll turn away, tap her on the shoulder and say, hey, show's over here. But my body language will already demonstrate my lack of neediness from her, needing attention from her. Uh, I respond to how they feel. You know, That's really the, the power of comfort. We're not out to make them comfortable. We're out to remove discomfort. Just like in, in airlines. Airlines are not out to make you comfortable as a passenger. They're out to remove discomfort. So if you feel discomfortable, here's a pillow. If you feel discomfort, here's a little knob you can you can spin so you have air blowing in your face. You know, they give you some options. Here's a drink to, to settle you down, right? <laughs> they remove discomfort. And as a pickup artist, that's what we should be doing, is removing any discomfort from meeting strangers by building an, an illusion of instant rapport. You know, as long as I'm talking and, and I'm not hitting on her, I'm conveying my personality and the, sh and the game is afoot. But if, as, soon, as soon as I stop running my gambits and I go back to it being a girl boy dynamic, it gets rocky. Like I said, you may not kiss her in C1. You may kiss her in C2. You may not kiss her in C2. You may kiss her in C3. It's up to her, not you. You got to be dynamic. And the M3 model allows for, for a, a, you know, handling dynamic logistics, such as moving the set that's handled in, in the M3 model or bouncing the set from, from one venue to the next or time bridging, which is getting a phone number and a reason to see each other again. There are two sides to a time bridge. It gives you options. You know, there's, there's a dynamic nature to it. What's interesting about the M3 model too is it effectively encapsulates your successes. The successes you've had in the past follow the model. That's the beauty of it is you don't have to know that the model exists for it to exist. It's not in your head anyway. It's in hers. She wants to be open without feeling like you're hitting on her and making her feel uncomfortable. So you do that. You open with who lies more, men or women? You Both. open with, <laughs> right? Both. You open with a gambit that you you know is going to get uh, people in involved. Instantly, instant rapport building. You know, you can create an illusion of instant rapport and it can take you a long way in, in making her feel comfortable to actually sit and get to know you. Whatever happened to the sit and get to know you time? You know, let's sit and get to know the girls. Let's take the time. The A typical pickup is not one hour. From meeting a girl to beginning a sexual relationship is somewhere between four hours, if you're really good with logistics, you live near your pickup location, or 10 hours. 
could be as little as four hours, as much as 10 hours, you know, accumulating by the minute, like a lawyer, you're spending time with the girl. If it's any more than 10 hours, you're falling into the let's just be friend zone. So that could be a problem. And if it's any less than 10 hours, well, you're making her uncomfortable that way too, by hitting on her too fast. So the average between four and 10 hours is seven hours. We call it the seven hour rule. It takes roughly seven hours from meeting a woman to beginning a sexual relationship with her. It takes around seven hours of accumulated time with her. Is the woman worth your time? It's going to take time to attract her, to turn her into your girlfriend. In fact, that's what I do about 10 minutes into the set. If I feel like, yeah, this one looks interesting to me. I'm going to start building a girlfriend out of my set about 10 minutes in. And it may come in the form of me showing vulnerability. You know, things you wouldn't do in front of a girl you haven't slept with yet, like tell a story where you grieve, where you where you uh, tear up. If I talk about, for instance, when my niece, Caitlin, fell down the stairs when she was a toddler and broke her jaw, and that we had to drive her to the hospital, you know, a toddler with a broken jaw, here and here were broken, and this was hanging out. She hit her chin here and broke her jaw. And... If I tell that story about how we brought her to the hospital and and how I was so stressed and I drove the car like it was on rails on the way there, if I get into that story, I'll actually tear up because I love my niece, you know, dearly. So what a lot of guys do is they won't grieve or or show humanity prior to having sex with her. Everything's about having sex with her. So, you know, always showing your best foot forward. And, and trying to get, you know, the objective of having bedded a beautiful girl. If you let go of all that, that extra agenda and you actually truly get to know each other, you can form a connection. And that is one of the phases, it's the two, of any real world courtship. So we're looking at what a real world courtship ideally looks like. And then we try to replicate that phase by phase, and that becomes your you, your unique love story. Instead of watching movies, oh, I don't even know what movies to, that are bad examples. The good examples to me are the movies where the girl and the boy meet at the beginning of the movie, and at the end of the movie, they actually kiss. They kiss at the end of the movie. That's, that's pickup. That's a love story being developed that's supposed to be pickup if it feels cheesy or seedy or creepy to you she's going to feel that too and it's not good pickup good pickup is supposed to be social you're supposed to uh, you're supposed to get pure approval you know her friends are supposed to like you too and and think that this match is made in heaven and and you know the the target's friend could become an obstacle in your pickup unless she's on your side so you have to win over the friends as well especially the best friend it takes time to do that it takes time to handle the logistics of being in a three set building social proof with that opening up an adjacent set they will see you as much more attractive because you're already in a social scenario when you meet them this is stuff that takes time is the woman worth seven hours? If not, move on, son. It's not. But if it is, if she's worth seven hours of your time, then dig in there and play a nice, solid game. Don't jump over phases. Don't try to shrink it and think you're a master because you've compromised your comfort by going less than four hours. Right? Play a solid game. Phase by phase. 